Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Down Memory Lane and it's Giveaway Tuesday today. Um, before we start, I should tell you our internet is a little weird today. So if we lose you or you lose us or something's kind of fuzzy, we're going to try to get back on as soon as we can. And if we can't for some reason, we'll figure out a way to post and get you the giveaway information. But that said, we're going to start going. So you'll notice we're in a different location today. We don't have our cute craft wall behind us. We have our cute other craft wall. <laughs> and so there's a reason for that. We're going to talk about how to make these super cute flowers, paper flowers that you guys probably saw when you toured our work area last week. So before we do that though, I got to remind you about what do you think? Our email list. Make sure that you sign up and become a VIP. You can go up on our Facebook page in the banner. There's a link that you can click and you can sign up to become a VIP and get on our email list. You'll get lots of coupons, information about brand new things. And with your very first purchase, you'll get a whole free kit. So you don't have to wait until every Tuesday to get something free. You can join our email list and get your kit today with your first purchase. So, all of that said, we're going to move on to what we're doing today. So a few people mentioned some that they liked these flowers and we have decided that we've put in the hard work to find all of the colors that go together and we are going to start selling these as kits on the website. So today I'm going to show you kind of pieces of how to assemble it and we're going to give one of these kits away free to one of you lucky viewers. All you got to do is comment on this video so maybe tell us what color you like or where you might use it and you have to share this video. So got to do both to get into the entry to the giveaway entry, share and comment on the video and you will be entered to win one of these brand new flower kits for free. All right, so how do we do this? We started with um, four different colors of cardstock. So you can kind of see our darkest layer on the bottom. We have one layer of that and then we move, kind of move up to have an ombre effect with the different colors. So there's, there's kind of two rows of each color all the way up and we're gonna finish it off with this lightest pink color. So what you do is you take 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock and cut them into four by four squares. And then we're gonna roll them, you can see here, we're gonna roll these into cones and then place them around our circle until we get to the center. So you can see some of the cones we used here. They're all about the same size, it's like little ice cream cones. And then our darkest color on the bottom. So we started out, you can see on the back here, with our cardboard base. So you'll get this in the kit also. Uh, you started out with a circle base and then we rolled all of the cones for the, for the darkest color and kind of laid them around the bottom. So the kit that we, or the um, tutorial that we saw online that um, we first followed to make these flowers said that the best thing to use was heavy duty adhesive tape. And so we actually tried three different <laughs> heavy duty adhesive tapes and none of them worked. As soon as we put it up on our wall, it all came apart. <laughs> so that's why that's empty right now, but it's all good because now you guys get to see how they're assembled. So instead, we are using hot glue and that is working awesomely. So we're gonna suggest that you use hot glue to put these on and nothing else, okay? So what you do is you take your cones and you're gonna take some hot glue on the other side here, obviously, and put about probably a quarter of the way around the circle. You're gonna put glue just so it doesn't dry too fast before you can get the cones on. And you're gonna lay them flat onto the base around. You just kinda of go all the way around until you have one bottom layer, okay? And it dries pretty fast, so once you get that first one on, you can keep going. So then you just take your hot glue and you're going to go over the bottom tips of that first one and you're just going to keep laying these cones in here all the way around and going up and up until you get to the top. And I'm going to show you how we do that today. So 
If you look in the middle, you can see that the cones are bent a little bit, and that's to get them to stand up a little more and lay nicely against the bottom, the one below it. So on the very bottom, we were laying them flat, but then when you start getting up to the middle, you're gonna kind of bend it at the bottom just to find the right height that you want. So that's kind of your personal choice. Just find the right height and that's gonna stick it in there with the glue, okay? So let's see how to roll one of these. So I like to take the flat piece and kind of bend it a little, roll it a little first, just so that it's easier to hold with the hot glue. So you're just gonna fold kind of halfway in not fold it down to crease it, but just kind of fold it in and then pop the top part over here. So you got a little ice cream cone. And then I just kind of like to just give it a little pinch so that it keeps a little bit of its, of its shape. And then you're gonna take that bottom chunk and that's when you're gonna take your hot glue and you're just gonna go up the side. And then I also like to just put a little bit over here because that is where the outside piece is gonna rest. So then you just fold the top over, kind of give it a little pinch. I like to stick a couple fingers in here and just really pinch it so it stays nice and tight. And there you go, got a cone. So the inside layer has about needs about nine cones. So that's one whole sheet of paper. So let's put these in and see how it turns out. So again, we're going to bend the bottom of the cone just a little bit so that it stands up in the middle. So let's put some hot glue in here. Just going to kind of get a really good amount. Nope, you can't really see. <laughs> And then we're just gonna place these in here, and just kind of hold them there for a second, just to kind of set. And I like to, you know, it's it's kind of hard to see to tell where exactly you want to place them, but I just like to line up the sides of the cones on the top because they're gonna lay better if they're if there's if you measure them with with the top part here rather than trying to get them perfect on the inside because you're not going to see that anyway. So we're going to keep going around. And it's up to you whether you want to kind of smash them in there and fit as many as you can or if you want to just kind of let it let it lay. So we're going to go with five on the outside. And then we're going to keep going in the middle. So we're going to put some more hot glue right in the center, maybe. Our hot glue gun is kinda, okay. you can tell them about the giveaway. Oh, that's right, that's all, okay. So if you're joining us mid, mid tutorial, we are giving away a kit to make one of these and all you gotta do to get in the drawing is comment on this video so maybe let us know where you might use one of these flowers if you've got like a baby shower coming up or a wedding or birthday party and then um you also have to share the video so share this video to your wall and everybody who does both comments and shares the video is going to be entered into the giveaway and then we're going to come back at three o'clock we're actually not gonna go online because our internet's kind of spotty. So we're just gonna post who wins and then you get to pick any color you want from our website. So, all right, we held those in, there it is. That's all you gotta do, whoops. I gotta hold a little longer, I guess. Okay, so while I'm holding this in, you can see above this video, there's a link, and that link is gonna take you to our website where we have all of the different colors of kits that you can purchase to buy one of these flower kits. So you're gonna get everything from the base, you're gonna get all the cardstock. So all you need to do, you don't have to pick out your colors or anything, all you need to do is just cut them into four by four squares, roll them into cones, and start gluing away. Um, 
we have 23 different colored kits so I'm pretty sure you're gonna find one that you're gonna like and it's gonna work for your party or for your celebration and so you can purchase those today they are on sale just today because they're brand new until midnight until um, for $4.99 and then tomorrow they're going back up to full price so get your orders in now and then you'll be able to make one of these beautiful flowers that you can use for so many different things I think this would be adorable under above a little baby crib or at a birthday party Ugh, I love them or on, on your the, wreath on, on the your wall front door. behind you yeah on the wall behind <laughs> me so one thing we, we are sure that someone will ask, so um, how do you hang these? So we used, you can see maybe on the wall here, command strips, okay? Yeah, so we used three of them. There's actually not three on these other ones. <laughs> we just were trying to be heavy duty on this one, but um, command strips work. You could also hang, you could glue a ribbon on the back and hang it from a ribbon. So if you are thinking about using this as a wreath on your front door or maybe the um, your daughter's bedroom door, anything. Um, you can hang a ribbon on the back and then hang it up with that. Or even a small nail would work. Um, but command strips are the way we like to go. So there's our beautiful flower. All right, so how do you get in the giveaway again? You are going to share this video and comment on this video because everyone who does both, not one, both, gets in the giveaway and we are gonna pick a name out of a hat and then we're gonna post it online and you can go to our website and choose any color kit you want and we'll send it to you for free. And anyone else who doesn't win, you can still go to that website and get it today for $4.99, a whole kit to make one of these beautiful flowers yourself. And this is the size you're gonna get. So I know we have two different sizes up here. Um, these are the size kits of these these pink flowers here. 17 inches across. 17 inches across. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah. Ah, okay, so make sure you share and comment on the video and make sure you go and sign up for our VIP web, um, email list. Okay, so go up in the banner on Facebook, click it, and make sure you sign up to start getting all your wonderful coupons and deals. All right, we'll see you later at 3. Have a good day. Bye.